Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how to set up the Foscam FI A916W wireless IP camera. And first thing is, plug the power into it with the included power cable, and also plug the network cable into it. I can either use, use a network cable that came in the box or one of my own, either one's fine. So one end of the network cable goes into the Foscam, the other end goes into my network router. Now, on the CD that's in the box, has a software called IP camera tools. If my computer has a CD drive, I can just install it off the CD. If my computer does not have a CD drive, you can always get the IP camera tools from the Foscam website. Just go to foscam.us, then head to their support section. In the support section, scroll to where you see the CD installation software. So if you're on Windows, install the one for Windows. If you're on Mac, just install the one, this one right here for the Mac. And since I've already installed it, I'm just going to run IP camera tools here. Some security warnings from the Mac. I'm going to hit allow. And the IP camera tools scans my network for all the fast camera units out there. So I know that it's this one because the other two are recognized the name. And this is a new one I plugged in. Over here, the M just means that this is an MPEG unit, not HD. And this is the internal IP address that my router assigned it temporarily, at least. I can take this IP address and put it into my Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer. Either one's fine for MPEG units. So I'm just going to double click on this. So for the first time logging in, the default user ID is admin and default password, just leave a blank. And the, the security pop up message just asked me to change my password. I said OK. If I was on Internet Explorer, I'll use the ActiveX mode. If I was anything else, I can use this server push mode. Even with Internet Explorer, you can use this as well. Just that when you use ActiveX on IE, you have more functionality. So since I'm doing this on Safari, I'm going to use the server push mode. I'm going to click into this for now. And I'm going to go to Device Management. First thing I want to do is change my login password, just as that pop-up message said. So let's go to the user settings over here. So over here, what I would actually re recommend is getting rid of the admin user. So for example, I can just get rid of this and just put in my other password. I'm just create basically a whole new account. Then make it administrator. And then just hit submit. So now it would bring me back to login page. Enter my new information here. And that's it. So the next thing I want to do is add my wireless information onto here. So if yours, if this is blank, just click scan. Take about 10 seconds to scan all the available wireless networks nearby. So for what for my wireless network, I'm gonna choose this, then put in my password, hit submit. Now that it finished rebooting, I'm just, just gonna move the fast cam to a different room. So on IP camera tools, simply just hit refresh. And you can see that's got a new IP now. Before it's 22, now it's 18. I also moved the camera to where I'm at right, at right now and the network cable is not plugged in. The only cable that's plugged in is the power cable. And since I've plugged it in, the unit is just pan, tilt, scanning the room. So I'm just going to, same thing, double click on this one right here. And I changed the user ID and password before, so I just need to put in a new one. Hit OK. I'm just gonna enter the server push mode. Oh, so here it is right here. Right here. Okay, it's wireless now. So a lot of the popular configurations are done and everything else is a lot of times people just consider it as optional, but I would recommend it. So let's go head back to the device management. Let's go to date time and also just adjust this to match your time zone. I'm gonna hit submit and it is synced with my current time. Next is the basic network settings. Over here, what I like to do is turn off the DHCP. That way I can give it my own IP address and the IP address won't change so on my viewing app, for example, on my mobile device, I can always have it, when I'm in the house, just always hit the same IP address to view it. And that's because on the viewing app on your mobile phone, there isn't a scanning tool like the IP camera tools. So I'm just give it something that's on my no local network. And then hit submit. And it's going to power down again. So finish rebooting. I'm going to shut down the web browser again. And just refresh this IP camera tool. It came back up, and this time it's got the IP of 192.168.1.160, which is what I want. 
So run this. So this way, on my Foscan Viewer app or any other app I'm using on my mobile device, as long as I'm inside my home, I can just put that address in there and I can always access it. So I'm back, head back to the device management tool. Now there's other things I can do, pan tilt settings. So one of the things, another thing I like to do is set this, go to center on reboot, has submit, let's demonstrate this unit a bit. It has a much thinner profile, so I'm just going to look downward, look to the left, so move to the right. This screen right here. And a couple other options like this is for infrared, this is a horizontal patrol, vertical patrol. Since this is an MPEG unit, it's only got a couple res couple options just to 640 by 480 is the highest resolution it can achieve. The mode, since I'm North America, it'll be 60 hertz. And well, for the most part, the configuration that I usually put in, I'm all done. There are other things that you could do. For example, like user settings, if you have a nanny or a grandparent, you can create accounts for them here too. You won't necessarily give them administrator rights, but you can give them like operator. With operator, you can still control the pan tilt, but you can't access this device management page. And for someone I just want to give them viewing permissions, well, you can just give them visitor. With visitor, you can access the video, the audio, but you can't control the pan tilt, nor can you control the administration page. Okay, and as I mentioned, when I first set this up, the all I got was just a pop-up message saying, remember to change your password, but I believe that Foscam will come up with newer firmware to make this consistent with the other Foscams, where it will force you to change the default user ID and password. So just keep in mind, changing user, user ID and password is very important. Don't use the admin user ID and password, just change it to something else. Okay, so this is just a video on how to set up the Foscam FIA916W wireless IP camera. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Walker Hamster. Bye.